we turn to parts of the country on edge after recent terror attacks. Fears about an active shooter triggering panic at a local mall. This, as officials are urging vigilance. As Christmas Eve celebrations get underway. Here's Eva Pilgrim. Reporter, crowds running from this mall outside Miami. A shooting scare causing panic, but authorities there say it was a false alarm. This, as across the country, law enforcement remains on edge. In California, court documents revealing 26-year-old Everett Jameson, a former Marine recruit was planning to attack one of San Francisco's most popular spots, Fisherman's Wharf, on Christmas because of President Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the Israeli capital. It kills me to know that he might would do something like that. Reporter, this as a Homeland Security spokesperson says a central Pennsylvania shooting spree by Ahmed Amin Amin El Mufti targeting police late Friday was terrorism. Killed in a shootout with police. He was not afraid to fire at different law enforcement officers. Reporter, in this video, Homeland Security now asking people to stay alert. While we're not aware of any specific, credible threats at this time, the recent attempted attack in New York is a reminder that we must remain vigilant. Reporter, in New York, the city on heightened alert after the Halloween attack that left eight dead and that subway attack near Times Square earlier this month. The suspect using a homemade explosive, telling investigators he carried out the attack in the name of ISIS because he was angry over all the killings of Muslims around the world. And Eva joins us live. From outside of St. Patrick's Cathedral in Manhattan. Where police are stepping up security in New York on Christmas Eve. Reporter, security ramped up across the country at soft targets like churches including the National Cathedral. Here at St. Patrick's Cathedral, they've put up barricades. And have increased the number of officers around church services. Tom. Eva, thank you. We move on to politics.